Hey, yo, what's up? Welcome to my show indoors. Doing it indoors because we scared to be doing it outdoors. Can we call a ball a ball and a strike a strike? Yeah, look. Let me put my goddamn glasses on so we can see each other just a little bit clear. We are doing things we are not used to doing. To showing, yeah. All that believing in God and all that other shit. No, it's not going to work. Not for what's happening right now. God, we done called on you. I don't know how many times and you still ain't reared your goddamn head yet. We need you, man. And because... We know you ain't gonna be coming. We gotta get on some real punk shit. Keep your mouth covered, y'all. And keep your monkey ass ten. Was that ten feet? Six feet. And literally, when I'm out and about, troop, I don't want you by me. If you motherfuckers ain't got a mask on your face, I got an option. If I'm I'm, I'm going. People don't understand, man. I'm taking this shit serious. I'm not, you know, I got respect for what this shit does. So precaution has to be taken. And some of you motherfucking clowns out there who is out there, obviously don't you don't care about yourself. So you ain't going to show no concern for another motherfucker. And this is, unfortunately... I believe it's going to lead to problems later on where motherfuckers is going to be so scared. Hey, give me six fucking feet, motherfucker. Hey, get the fuck. Hey, cover your goddamn face up, nigga. Cover your face, bitch. Fuck wrong with you, man. This shit is for real, man. I don't want nothing you got. And I ain't trying to give you nothing if I got it. You know what I'm saying? So let's call it what the fuck it is. You have a little bit more respect for this monkey shit here, man. And all. Hey. We already understand that God is not going to do nothing. Let's call it what it is. This is not blasphemy. This is truth. When you see motherfuckers molesting children in church, and God, not even in the church, reached down and crushed them. And when they continuously did it, and you still accuse yourself of being something affiliated with that type of wickedness, that goes to show that you wasn't shit neither. But you can't put yourself, you can't put your faith in the time like this, in the in the hands of some unseen. This is unseen. This is something reality white folks don't introduce you to. And ask yourself. Black people are, are the original people. This is documented truth. Facts. Why wasn't something so important like God left through the information that our ancestors left through the hieroglyphics? No one ever said, if you know the truth, you know we were worshiping idol. Not we, but the ancestors of old were idol worshiping. They were idol worshipers. They were idol worshippers. They believed in. They believed in what they can feel. We can feel it. This is what they believed, man. White folks introduce you to this white figure, and you bow to it, to, to that huge lie. I, 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 I deviate. I bounce around. But it's the truth, man. You 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 go to church and you got fucking savage pastors putting your lives in jeopardy when he say, yo, ignore this, man. You come in here. I am blessed. I am blessed. This church is protected by the shield of God. By the shield of God. Now, let me tell y'all something. We ain't going to be running from this. We ain't going to be scared of y'all. We ain't scared of no goddamn COVID. We tell COVID, you ain't welcome here. Give me a man on that. You ain't welcome here, goddamn it. And let me 
Let me do something here today, y'all. Let me uh let me open this book. You know, see, it is the Bible. And you can't tell that I've been I've been in the book. Well anyway. We pull the Bible out and just raise it high. Raise the Bible high and tell COVID, get up out of here in the name of the Lord. Give me an amen on that. Okay, now, while we into this great energy, bucket, folks, pass the bucket around. Dig deep, y'all. Dig deep. We need COVID. We need y'all. We need the protection. God said, take care of the leaders. Dig deep, goddammit. Oh, my goodness. We feel great. How we doing on that money? Hey, they dug deep, Pastor. Now we cooking with grease. You know, people going to capitalize off your fear. That's right. Fear is a motherfucker. You better believe that. And it's so sad. It's so goddamn sad. It's just so sad. Yo, gon' rock. No, sir. You can't stop. Bip, 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 bip. Get up off me. See, I got respect for the anything that it's a fact that people are. Uh, uh, the other day, I think I posted something where over 230 something motherfuckers died in 24 hours. That's in Jersey. Just in 24 hours. Hey, man. If you fools out there is not having respect for that. If you thinking, motherfuckers, you gonna allow some idiot to stand in front of you and tell you to ignore what's happening because we are blessed here. And you assholes, yeah, you assholes listen to that stupid shit without weighing your pros and your cons, without using your, what's, what's in your cranium. You don't want to use that. You're going to ignore actual facts, but you're going to listen to some, <laughs> ain't that a bitch? Then if you're going to do that, you deserve, all of you motherfuckers deserve what comes with that. This shit is spreading like wildfire, man. Like wildfire. It's not having mercy. And you look at these politicians on television. And they telling you, they telling you motherfuckers out there, hey man, cover your mouth for uh, six feet and all this other shit. But you watch them on stage and then you watch the panel, you got the governor here, uh, maybe three feet away, you got some other white folks to his left, then some more white folks to his right. Just white folks in the picture. And honestly, I'm just tired of white folks. Governing, having my best interest. You don't have, because white folks don't have your best interest at heart. So you got to start waking up. Just because a motherfucker white doesn't mean they're the best choice, which they're not. History will show you. Ever since they stole this country, they've been fucking up. They've been fucking up and doing a whole lot of stealing in the goddamn process. No one steals money like white folks. Nobody. I wish I had some of your, some of them white folks thieving tactics. Word up. Shit. Fifty billion dollars. Man, that dude, man. And sad part, he didn't have to do that. He was already making great money. I ain't say good money. He was making great money. And he still wasn't satisfied. Fifty billion dollars. He had to be so good. To steal fifty billion dollars in the wrong man, shit. Nine times out of ten, or some some cases ten times out of ten, when you hear about a large, uh, uh, uh some of the money being pilfered or stolen, you better understand whose face is always in back of that thievery. Who? I mean, I'm not the smallest motherfucker in the world. Maybe you can answer that question. But yet still, you motherfuckers still, you still point your crooked ass fingers at the original people, man. If you know history, if it wasn't for the A and alphabet, black people are the A and alphabet, period. But because white folks don't want you, this is true. They, they don't tell you this shit. They, they give you a lot of misinformation. They would never tell you that this land is stolen. They would never tell. Imagine if they was to tell that in history. And they, they got a right to know this. This is a part of history. So you tell everything else. 
When it comes to black history, you motherfuckers only go maybe to Malcolm X. Well, you out your mind. You know, but you people don't pay attention to that. You, you're you content long as the lie remain in place. The lies are staying in place because you talk about, I want the truth. No, you don't. You don't want the truth. You're a goddamn liar. Because how dumb do you have to be? Check this. Remember when you was a child and your grand and your mama prayed and you watch her mother and grandfather pray go to church and give what little bit they didn't have to some strange motherfucker and while you go to church and listen to some motherfucker who's versed in the bible it's all about a pastor somebody that's just versed in the bible father's living it nah. you ain't gonna never find out you know what a righteous person is man you know the person the way the bible tells it about this white folk that mathematically, it, it, there's no way. Because if you understand the DNA in black people and white people, it's 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 drastic. You know, black folks is above, real high, in the DNA department we're referring to. But nobody tells tells you that truth. Man. You don't want to hear that truth. You always want to hear. And I'm talking about to some of you black motherfuckers too. You motherfuckers too busy believing in some dumb shit that never makes sense. It won't make sense. As a kid, you watch your family pray. Nothing got better. Nothing. Nothing. Actually, it got worse. And you still went to church. You still went to church and gave with the little bit you didn't fucking have. And nobody said, yo, man, hold on for a minute. Something, something smells like shit here. But no, nobody wants to do that. Nobody. Oh my God, that's blasphemy. What? Oh, why is it blasphemy? Huh? Says who? Who the fuck are you to say that's blasphemy? Huh? If I want to deal with some truth, if I want to ask questions, which you are entitled to do, you if you are a robot and you have motherfuckers controlling you like you a pumping, they got their hand up in your ass and. You know, ventriloquist. You're nothing but the dummy. If you're gonna continuously believe that you, when your parents was praying as children, as when you were young, nothing changed. You got older, you still prayed. You see, nothing changed. Some cases probably got worse. But then you still accept the lie and ridicule those who's in. There's a lot of bullshit involved. So. When folks say that I'm, when you say you are righteous, I call you a fucking liar. I do. Because to say, to, to project an image, it's all about a projection. A lot of people in church are just there doing what you're doing, fronting. You know, hey man, I gave 200. Man, I man, shit. I wish I would. Shit. Just so this strange motherfucker can live better than you, eat better than you, drive better than you. Fuck out of here. And you know what the funny shit where these lying motherfuckers come up, you know, while they in the back doing what they doing, you know, sniffing coke, having sex with some non-married women and shit. They back there and they come up front and say, goodness gracious, I got it. Oh my goodness. We are blessed. Give me an amen on that. We, this church here is blessed, y'all. No. Hold on for a minute, y'all. We are extremely blessed. While I was in the back, you know, preparing to come out here to be amongst y'all, God appeared on my right side. I said, do you hear what I'm saying, Congress? I said, God appeared. Oh, my goodness. I forgot to put the Bible in my hand. You know, you got to make it look good. I said, I said, God was in the back rapping with you, boy. Give me a hallelujah. Give me a hallelujah. Goodness gracious. And you know what God said. You know what he said. He said, you tell them congregation to dig deep. No, no, that's the last thing he said. God said, 
The first thing he said before he said, go out there and tell them to dig deep. God need money in his unlimited bank account. He need more. God is greedy. It's what you people making him out to be. And God said to me to come out here and say to you, and somebody stands up making sense, asks a question. Hold on for a minute, Pastor. Hold up, time out. Excuse me, Pastor. We know that God is great and all this stuff, but you just said that God was in the back. You mean right back the fuck there? And you telling me God couldn't? Uh, he, he couldn't come out here and say, "Yo, peace, y'all." Peace, y'all. What's up? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? And I did tell him, tell you to dig deep. I'm gone. I'm gone. And make sure, Pastor, you get that money to my account. God is great. We out here. See, that'd be a different ball game. See, everybody so witnessed that. And you know how black folks yeah. See, black folks. I got it on. God damn it, I got it. Hey, man, and I appreciate you motherfuckers subscribe, man. That was God. I swear to God. That was God. Oh, shit. That was God. That was God. Don't forget to subscribe, you motherfuckers. Come on, now. Let's wake up, man. Let's call a ball to ball and strike a strike, man. Stop being so caught up in the bunch of bullshit. The greatest lie, y'all. The greatest lie. White folks said to us that this book, and this is white folks said it, that the Bible is the greatest book ever written. Recently, I did agree that the Bible is the greatest book ever written because it has the greatest lie ever told. That it has the greatest lie ever told. <laughs> And the Bible is in so many people's hands. We're talking about around the world. In every country. Nobody's saying in, in, in Africa, in, the, in Arabia. The Bible, if they anywhere the Bible is, it's a white figure. Nobody does no history. Nobody's recognizing scientists and all that. Saying, Hold on for a minute. History says that the black man Nobody, for some reason, never want to agree that the black man is the original black man. Find a way to accept truth for truth, man. Stay, stay aware, man. Get worse.